again. Um, I've forgotten the date again, would you believe? It's, I think it's the 30th of July 2011. Um, certainly towards the end of July. <laughs> uh, I'm standing on uh, Stone Ness, which is only a couple of kilometres down from Craveford Ness, where I was a few weekends ago. But uh, I have to say, it's not as good by a long shot. I was uh, trying to find one geocache earlier on, which was in, well, supposed to be in quite a clever hiding place in a, a stone wall along the, the beach. But uh, I gave up after uh, accidentally unco uncovering a, uh, a syringe. Ugh. So, yeah, I found one other one um, since then. Um, the whole area just isn't well maintained at all. I mean, I don't know whether you can see if I turn this around that uh, it's just kind of concrete spill and there's, you know, warehouses along the back and, you know, just not particularly nice things to look at. Although, you know, there's the QE2 bridge, which is fairly nice as a piece of construction work, I suppose. Um, no greenery on the other side of the Thames. Uh, yeah, so I've got to say, from what I've seen here, hats off to Bexley Council for their maintenance of Greyford Ness. It's absolutely great. And uh, more effort needed from Dartford Council on Stone Ness, frankly. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll maybe do some more later. See you later. Just realised, of course, that I said hats off earlier to. Uh, Bexley Council, and I'm actually wearing a hat, so I might as well do that. So, uh, hats off, Bexley Council. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? And uh, I actually am wearing a hat, so uh, in that case, hats off to Bexley Council. Alright, cheers. <laughs>